What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you one of my favorite Mexican recipes, venison barbacoa, but we're going to make it with a piece of meat that a lot of you guys may not use, venison neck. Let's go. Trade you. Cheers. All right, I just got the venison neck ready to be put on the smoker. I'm going to smoke it at 220, 225 for about three hours. Hit it with a high smoke to begin with. If you have that feature, it's going to really help infuse that uh, meat with that smoke flavor. For my binding agent, for my rub, I just use yellow mustard. Now, don't get weirded out by that. Some people are like, man, that's weird. Some people use mayonnaise. I like the yellow mustard in this situation because if you use mayonnaise, it adds too much fat to this and it gets a little greasy. My rub is just simply coriander, cumin, smoked paprika, and some cloves. And now this thing's ready to go into the smoker and it's going to smoke, like I said, for about three hours. But I'm going to make a braise with this because I'm going to finish it in a roaster or, or you can finish in the oven, whatever way you guys want to do it. But it needs to cook for another three hours after it gets out of that. So in this, it's just going to be some beef broth, lime juice, a little bit of apple cider vinegar, and a whole bunch of peppers that I don't really even know how to pronounce. So I'm going to throw those all in here. I'm going to add some acid and some sweetness with these orange slices. I'm going to throw some caramelized onions in there. And then I'm going to throw these, uh, the chipotle with adobe in there. What this is going to do is it's going to all kind of sit in there and it's going to smoke. It's going to cook inside that smoker with that three hours and then it'll be ready for braise. It's going to be tasty. All right, everything's ready for the smoker. It'll be ready for that braise in about three hours. But you know what? I'm ready for another beer. What do you say, buddy? Bush. Go get that a bush. Good boy. Good boy. Good dog. Cheers. All right, pulled the venison neck off the smoker. It's been on there for about three hours now. Internal temp's about 130. The nice thing with this recipe is you can't really overcook it. I just wanted to get enough uh, smoke flavor into it just to make sure to throw it, be, have it be ready to throw into that roaster. We're gonna cook it for about another three, maybe four hours until that meat starts to fall apart. But we need to first strain all the peppers out of the braise that we made here. So I'm gonna strain those all out. As you can see, I already did that but we don't want to lose the flavor that that's all giving it. So I'm going to throw it in some cheesecloth here, throw it in there with the roaster and let that cook and everything marinate for a while for a good three to four hours and it'll be ready to go. I right, we pulled that neck off the smoker, threw it in the roaster, cooked it until it started to fall apart. We were able to pull that vertebrae right out of the middle of it, give it a nice little treat to Boston. Now we're going to go ahead and enjoy some tacos. There you go, y'all. Have a good one.